a very good morning students i welcome you to the class students till now we have discussed and interpreted three scenes from the drama tugluk by girish karnad in our last class the scene third ended when imamuddin recognizes that muhammad the sultan muhammad bin tugluk his full name is the cleverest man in the world students today we are going to discuss scene 4 from the drama tugluk this scene takes place in the palace in the capital delhi in the palace shiabuddin is found reading a letter when the stepmother of sultan reaches there and praises shiabuddin for doing well in the absence of the sultan the stepmother of sultan resents when shihab gives credit of to najib of all that students just at that moment ratan singh's arrival is announced and the stepmother of sultan prepares to leave the room ratan singh tells shihab that the sultan is back home and has gone to see the wazir sultan's stepmother doesn't like the secret way of sultan's return but she is told that sultan is very much affected by the death of sheikh imamuddin students now the sultan appears on the scene and embraces shihab but freezes when the stepmother asks about the death of the sheikh imam sheikh named imamuddin he says that the death of imamuddin was a terrible sight sultan felt as if he himself lay dead and he says i should have been in his place yanul mulk was let go free barni and najib start having a wordy warfare over this decision the former calling it more valuable than vengeance but the later asserting that it will be tossing another torch into the chaos at awad when asked by the step mother why the sultan deserved that special treatment sultan tells that he could solve the most intricate problem of chess in the twinkling of an eye after this all go away except shiab and ratan singh students now ratan singh calls the sultan an honest scoundrel who murders a man calmly and then actually enjoys the feeling of guilt he poses to be impartial and levies such heavy taxes on the farmer of the duab that they prefer to starve the hindus and muslims die of hunger with absolute impartiality he tells shiab that on his insistence he went to fight but he was put in the front rank of the platoon in front rank never the front rank never survives a battle imamuddin was delighted as an emissary of peace on behalf of the sultan he looks very much like the sultan the sheikh was on his elephant and was going to say something to the enemy camp when the royal trumpeter sounded the charge the battle began arrows poured into the sultan and within minutes he looked a gory human porcupine and fell down from the elephant the royal army fled over his body in confusion the enemy was convinced that the sultan was dead they pursued the first rank of the royal army and fell into the trap mamudin was murdered in cold blood Ratan Singh continues the story and tells Shiab that in a few days the nobles of the court and the important citizen of Delhi are going to hold a secret meeting to discuss the whole affair. When asked how he knows it about it he says that having learned that the sultan tried to kill him the citizens have pro- approached him. They think that Shiab will 
also not be apathetic towards the attempted murder of his adopted brother he has accepted the invitation ratan says ratan singh says he wants to know from shiab if he too would like to join him students here we see that the scene four of the drama comes to an end and and very important incident has happened and that is the death of sheikh imamuddin who resembles sultan mohammed bin tughlaq students this much for today's class we will meet in our next class thank you very much